We have no lights. <laughs> Up it's okay. Now. You need to see me. It's Hold okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's where you wear a white shirt, right? Yeah, really. You need to see the white shirt. Okay. So, um, anyways, we were going to we had everything set up to um, webcast the presentation and everything, but uh, looks like the Google Chromecast is not going through the video capture. So we'll just use the uh, the webcam, and not ideal, but we'll see what we can do with that and hopefully uh, capture the uh, presentation. Um, welcome, I'm Marcelino Rogero. I'm the president of this uh, great club that we have. Um, love to see all the faces out there. Um, who, uh, who was at the barbecue? All right, you guys have a good time? Yeah. Did you see the, the video on the YouTube that we put together? Yeah. She so, worked six case, hours on that. You should have. Yeah, I, my daughter was the editor on it, so she she was fantastic. Um, so, um, anyways, uh, that was a lot of fun. I know some of you guys were traveling and missed out, but uh, uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a little on the warm side, but not super hot. We had a lot of shade, uh, so it was uh, pretty good. Um, anyhow. One announcement that I need to make is that we would like to see if anyone would like to take notes during the general meeting presentations. Um, Mike has kind of uh, taken a, a leave of absence from all that. It's a lot of work to take the notes, I know that, but uh, we really would appreciate it if you're a good note taker. Um, we may not be able to record all of these uh, presentations and it'd be nice to be able to have something in the newsletter. Uh, how many got the uh, newsletter announcement? Okay. How many read the newsletter? Okay. Good. That's that's quite a good that's quite a uh, good crowd. Don't forget, you get those announcements. Open up, look at it. There's really uh, good information there. Chris does a wonderful job at um, you know putting all that together, and uh, you know really appreciate that. All right. Um, I think that's all I have for right now. Barbara, take over. Uh, yeah, I have a few announcements. Uh, Columbia, next uh, general oh. meeting would be next right. month on the so you, you fourth Monday. I don't have it. Uh, Our speaker is going to be from the California Highway Patrol, and he's going to talk to us about Age Well, Drive Smart. And uh, it's a presentation he made at a recent library, which I was so impressed. Um, he'll talk about learning to compensate for age-related changes. That's us. <laughs> uh, refresh your knowledge of road rules, pick up safe driving tips, and more. And so uh, he has a two-hour speech, which we're going to consolidate into one hour, and he'll be our speaker next month. Um, the Tablet SIG meets once a month on the third Wednesday. And our speaker next uh, month is going to be Harvey Abernathy, and he's going to talk on night photography. He uh, won a prize uh, for his night photography uh, a few years ago, and he got a pre trip to Vietnam for it, so he's a good photographer. Uh, our tablet SIG continues uh, for smartphones and tablets, and our speaker tonight is one of the speakers at the Belvedere Tiburon Library, and that's every third Wednesday at 10 o'clock. So if you want more Friday, help with Friday. your smartphone, Friday. Friday, I said, sorry, yes, third Friday, uh, with your smartphone or your iPad or smart pad, um, come at 10 o'clock on the third Friday. All right, tonight our speaker is Yvonne. Uh, Silva, and he is a technical reference librarian for many years at the Belvedere Tiburon Library. And he's, we were so impressed with the stuff he's been telling us about all the <laughs> ways in which the Tiburon Library uh, uses uh, digital information uh, to help us all read magazines and free books on the uh, web. So he'll talk all about that tonight. So here he is. Yvonne Silva. Thank you, Mark. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming. 
I'm glad to be here and meet you on your own ground. I appreciate every time you come visit the library. Um, uh, today, I'm going to show you an area of our website that we call Go Digital. Uh, so our website has a few areas. Uh, let me bring it up, actually, so we can. Do we want to fix the light now? There. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. So this is a mobile version of our website. And you can see the three arrow, um, the hamburger menu. So the real menu is hidden. And if you see it on a desktop computer, it will look different. But when I open this menu, you can see we have some areas that are important to us and are important to the people who visit the library. First thing is, we are a community of readers. We have a lot of people who come to the library to get books, the usual stuff. So the first thing is we have uh, resources to help you find new books. What are you going to read next? So that's the Discover Books. Uh, what, what I'm going to talk about today is the Go Digital. Is yes, what we're seeing, we have a lot of readers, as I just said. But there's a lot of readers who want to read on their device. They're on the go. You want to read everything. We have mag digital magazines, digital audiobooks, digital ebooks. So that area is specifically for you if you're learning or if you're trying to get access to all those things we offer. One of the major things that happen in the library, we have great events. And attend events is what you're going to see uh, all the new things that are happening at the library. And find services, all the services we have. Oh, I skip, do research. If you need to do some research, that's where you should start. We have tons of resources to help you get started. And kids and teens, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's go to Go Digital. In Go Digital, when you visit this website and you click on Go Digital, you'll see uh, four things. And I'm going to talk about all of these four things. And I actually um, I have this handout in the back. If you want to take a look at it, it's called Go Digital Must Have Apps from the Library. And I have listed all the apps we have in the ebooks, all the, the streaming apps, all the magazine apps, and some resources for learning. Um, all right, so ebooks. Who's uh, doing ebooks already here? So, are you getting them from the library? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. What app are you using? Libby. Open Drive. Libby, Open Drive, yeah. So, that's our main app. So, let's take a look at it. Oops, click on the wrong one. Yeah, so that's pretty much our offering right here. So what are you going to find on Overdrive is the best sellers, the popular books, the top six publishers in the U.S. You're going to find those books there on Overdrive. Uh, Libby, if you're using the brand new app, it's a great app. If you're still using Overdrive, that's fine. But I'll suggest updating to the new app, Libby. It's a really great app, and they have improved a lot of the things that were kind of iffy on the Overdrive. Um, some things that I use on the Overdrive app, for instance, um, create a watch list. It's not available on Libby. Another thing that's not available on Libby is the ability to suggest a book to the library. If you search for a book and you don't find it on Overdrive, you can let us know to purchase it. You can't really do that right now on Libby. So we're still working on it, but it's a great app to try. Google Digital supplements Overdrive. Uh, it's a set collection. We don't really buy books for Google. We just have an agreement with a publisher, and they give us access to a lot of their books. Um, but people find it really helpful when you there's books or audiobooks that you're looking for on Overdrive and they're all checked out. Just hop on Hoopla and see if it's available there. 
So uh, it's been really popular with audiobooks. We have a small community of comic fans, comic book fans. Uh, they find a lot of comic books on Hoopla. And we're going to talk a little bit more on Hoopla because it, you can also stream TV, uh, TV shows, movies, and listen to music on Hoopla. So it's a little bit more than just books and audiobooks. So Freeding, again, is an agreement we have with one particular publisher. And um, one thing about Overdrive is if you have a book checked out in your name, you have to be on hold until I return it for someone else to check it out. It's a little bit counterintuitive to what we think an ebook should work. But uh, so you have to wait. Hoopla and Freeding, you don't have to wait. You can check these books out at the same time. If I have the uh, title checked out, you can also check it out. Someone else can check it out at the same time. Um, we find that it has a little bit, <coughs> the collection is a little bit more, uh, not as exhaust, exhausted as Overdrive, but what we think, what we see that is popular, it has a really great collection of Lonely Planet travel books. So let's say you're traveling, and usually we see a lot of people come to the library, check out a, a Lonely Planet guidebook, and take it on their travel, which is great. Um, but it's bulky. If you don't want to do that, and you're still going to take your iPad anyway on your travel, just download the, the Lonely Planet on your iPad. Just a suggestion. It might work for some people, might not work for some other people. But we have them. And you can check them out. Uh, question: Sure. Are these sources mutually exclusive? To Bellevue to run? No, no, no. If, if, if you want to find, say, uh, some, some magazine, will it be in all three possibly, or will it be in one because they have competitive agreements? No, these are just ebooks and audiobooks. We're, we the, none of these have magazines. Well, well, okay, well let's say the ebook. Will it be in all three of them? Possibly, or it depends on the agreement. Okay. Yeah, it might not be. It's rare that you find a, a title that's in all of them. Is there a way to search it with what search? You have to do a search for each for each one. Uh, you can do a catalog search, which most of you probably know as Marinet or Bilio Commons. That will search all of them, but you might have some false uh, false positives. False, false negatives or false drops. Um, so I would still double check, log in and check all of them. Evan, is it, is this, when you log in to Marinnet, mm -hmm. are these options available through the, the master screen or the home screen? Right. So yeah, since it's coming up, let me do a quick search for um, a book. Actually, George Saunders, let's do that. Now, he has uh, Lincoln, Lincoln and the Bardo. And you see it shows you the different formats that we have this book. And ebook is one of those. And if you look at it, it will show you which of those collections, Overdrive, Enki, Reading, which of those you can find it. So this is one way you can do it. But does it link? Yeah, it links. So for instance, let's do the ebook here. <coughs> let's see if it pops up. Yeah. So I can check it out now. When I click that, it brings me to, um, well, it'll log into my account and then it will take me to Overdrive. Okay, so it does link. So if you have a county card that's good, that works, or do you have to get one of your library? No, a, con a county card works. Works, okay. Yes. And all of these are available throughout the county, all four. I see. Uh, yeah. Why isn't Libby up there? 
Well, um, the collection is an overdrive collection. The app is called Libby. Uh, we probably should change it. Uh, Libby by overdrive or so. So that's ebooks and audiobooks. You can get ebooks and audiobooks on these. So let's take a look at streaming apps. We have two streaming apps. We have Canopy and Hoopla. Anyone trying those yeah. already? Canopy? Uh, have you run into the limit of how many? Yeah, like eight a month eight. or a week. Or... Is that good? Is that working? <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. So Canopy, you Canopy and Hoopla, you can both stream videos um, just like you would from Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything, uh, except the account you're using is the library account, your library card. And these, we have an agreement with them, so it's free to you, but we are paying on the back end. Um, so we'll, we'll, take a, we'll open the apps and we'll take a look at those. Um, so Hoopla, again, it has ebooks, audiobooks, and streaming content. As far as magazines, I have some surprises for you guys. All right. So if you're going on a trip, this is something I do a lot, is I have this app on my device, and when I go on an airplane on a trip, I like to download a bunch of magazines. And and then I can read the magazines on my device. So I really, and the way they look on a tablet, it, it looks really great. You should really try this. Um, and you can have as many magazines checked out to you as you want. So imagine traveling with a stack of magazines all in your iPad. Yeah. All right. It, it really is a lifestyle. My favorite. <laughs> I don't know if that's my favorite, but it, it's uh, something I really love doing. So I'll show you guys what kind of magazines we have. So it's about 88, 90 magazines we have, uh, including The Economist, um, New Yorker. Those are the two big popular ones. But you'll find a few Architectural Digest, Dwell, some, something like that. Um, so at the library, if you when you visit the Belvedere Tiburon Library, you have free access to Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. Only when you visit the library, when you're inside the building. So we really want you to come in. And you can get access to all these. Um, if, you, if you're online, if you don't have an account, and you're browsing these things, there's a paywall. So if you're trying to access any article, especially from Wall Street Journal, New York, New York Times will give you eight or some a certain amount a month. The Wall Street Journal, they won't let you see anything. All right. Just come to the library and you can see everything. Um, the New York Times actually, you can actually um, see it. Um, access it from home. So when you visit this page and you click on read more about the New York Times, there's a link here to access the New York Times from home. What loads is a redeeming code. It gives you 72 hours of free access to the New York Times. Okay. And you can do it next 72 hours. If you want to come back and get another 72 hours, just do the same thing. Go to our website, New York Times, redeem another 72 hours. Just go for it. Do it as many times as you want. We would love for you to do it all the time. <laughs> um, and... Um, just in case you're wondering, we still have access to consumer reports, not in a very convenient way. 
but we have access to all the ratings, all the articles. So we did something, I'm not sure if you guys think this is helpful or not. But we just created a search. Okay, it looks a little bit funky on the, um, on the phone, but we have a search box. If you're looking for mattress ratings, tire ratings, anything, just search it here, search, and you'll get the actual article. We don't have access to the uh, website anymore. The website wasn't very great, so I don't think you're missing a lot, but just use this and you get access to the ratings. Um, all right, the last thing before I'll show you a little bit of the apps. Uh, how am I doing in time, by the way? Okay. Fine. Okay. So we have a section called Learn Tech, Learn Technology. And we have a couple of resources here. So first is you can attend classes, you can attend groups like the Tablet SIG at the library. If you still have questions, make an appointment with a librarian, we'll sit with you and we'll help you out, especially about books, audiobooks, anything that has to do with the library get your phone working. Uh, we use, uh, we still have access to Linda, but we're going to lose access to Linda.com because they were purchased by uh, LinkedIn. And now they require you to use their social network to log in. And they're going to keep track of all the videos you watch on Linda. That's a no-no for libraries. We are not keeping track of anything you do. So since they're not budging, we're not budging, we're dropping them. We'll try to find something that's similar to Linda that can offer you some great videos about tutorials, how to learn Photoshop, how to learn all these things. And we'll keep you updated on that. If you want to take advantage of Linda, I think we'll have it until the end of the year, maybe. Um, log in and use it. It's a great resource for videos, but uh, they're going to start keeping track of what you're watching. We don't do that. We don't keep track of the books you check out. We don't keep track of what you read, what you do on our website, what, what do you do on our wireless network. We really don't keep track of nothing you do in the library. It's all private. But we still have access to this great resource. I think this is a great resource for this group. This is the library of the O'Reilly Tech Books. Does anyone have an O'Reilly Tech Book? OK. They're all free here. Just use your library card, get access to them. The thing with the O'Reilly books is we can't keep keep up with how frequent technology updates. So an O'Reilly book, we would have to buy it every six months, the actual physical book. But you get the latest one here. There's no way we can keep up, keep up with the latest because they come out so frequently. But it's a great resource. Um, yeah. How did you get to this? page yeah it's still under go digital oh go digital okay and it's the less option learn technology okay. so go digital is your friend uh, get used to it play with it so I've downloaded all the apps um, you have most of these apps on your device anyone has Chrome yeah oh how did a Chrome get there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a library app. <laughs> but it works, no? Yeah, it works. Well. Hey, get out of there. Oh. Um, these library apps. Do you have any? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so Libby is the new Overdrive app. It's, it's such a great app. So I'm listening to this book on my commute right now, and I borrow it from the San Francisco Library, but let me change to Marin. And you can browse for books, 
check them out, and they will show up on your shelf. Oh, I should return this because someone is waiting for that. Um, all right, so this is what I'm reading now. This is the shelf with everything I have downloaded. This is the library where I can borrow, browse for more books. So it's a great little app. It's really easy, really easier than the older Overdrive app. Uh, so the Canopy app, hold on, I'm going to go to our website again. So the other apps, before you get started, before you get started with Canopy, start here. Click on Canopy and create an account. So it knows you're coming from the Belvedere to Brown Library. When you create an account, it will give you access, free access. And then when you open the app, you plug in that account you created, and it already knows your library um, um, member, and it will let you in for free. Okay, so that first step is really important. Question. Do we have to be a member of the Belvedere Tiborne Library, or can we use MarineNet and no, if we don't live in Tiburon, can we join? So Canopy right now, I think there's only two libraries that don't have it, Mill Valley and maybe Larkspur. So if your library, if your library card is those two libraries, then you can't access it right now. So double check. But if we don't have a Tiburon address, we cannot join Belvedere. Uh, no. No, I have Sausalito. I have it. Yeah, so a lot of libraries. Port Madeira has it. Where do you live? But Logsville. That's your library then, Logsville. It well, probably has it. Yeah, check. Um, no, I think Mill Valley is, doesn't have it. It's easy to check online. Hoopla, same thing. Before you start using the app, come over here, click on Hoopla. Create an account, and you notice we're in the browser. We're in Google Chrome. We're not on the web browser. We're going to create an account, and once we create an account, we're, we're going to go and open the app, the actual app, and plug in that information, and now we have access. So when you're setting this up, first step is the library website. Second step is the app. Okay, don't forget the, that part. But when you sign in on Overdrive, can, and you get to MarinNet, and you pick your library, do these, I, I guess my question is, do these, are these linked to that? No, the Overdrive, which is Libby, is just ebooks and audiobooks, and it's, available to everyone. So the issue So of, it has to be the Bell Tib <coughs> library dot org. Yeah, to get access to the other ones. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that are not shared okay. by everyone. Okay. But you can log in from anywhere. Right? From anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere in the world. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Outer space also. <laughs> Outer space. <laughs> the space station. Yeah. Good. That's, that's Just don't commit it don't commit a crime. Handy to me. So this is the magazine app. Oh, sorry. Start on the website. When you do the TV shows, does it does it come with the five point one audio and the whole the whole smear? That's a good question. Uh, they are coming with some. Uh, you mean um, like a movie? You know how. Like a streaming uh, quality, you mean? Yeah, will it have the full audio? And yeah, yeah, and more and more you're seeing some that have 4K quality. 4K? Yeah, I'm surprised too. 
Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of bandwidth. Yeah, but it's slowly creeping in, and you'll see a lot of them. But most of them are just HD right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, so that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So again, before you start with the app, start with the library app, uh, with the library website, click on the link, create an account. A little bit slow. Oh, I already have an account. Yeah. Uh, so create a new account and then go to the app and plug in this account you just created. Um, and you can see the top <coughs> magazines already. The Economist. Yeah, the Economist. National Geographic is amazing on your iPad. You just try it. <laughs> because it has the videos, it's multimedia magazine on your iPad. It's not just flipping a page. Okay. Not so much like, for instance, the the Economist. This is straight up. It's just a PDF. They didn't even bother to make it nice. <laughs> like here's a PDF. Um, but try it. There's some interesting things. Things you can that are great for an airplane ride, maybe. Uh, Inquiry. <laughs> yeah. Just try it. Um, it's. They've got a lot of photography magazines. Okay, you've browsed the collection. Yeah. yeah. Good. Outside photography. As Vogue. Which one? As Vogue. Yeah, I think I saw that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could put a, like at my ha my house, I could put a, a laptop next to TV and feed the TV with the HDMI cord mm -hmm. and then use the computer to pull something down and view it on the, yeah, on the big screen, right? So we just, uh, it's interesting you mentioned, you mentioned that we just had a class at the library how to do this, how to stream from the different services. So you can do that, that's a direct way to do it. There's some devices now, streaming devices you can use. Like, a, like what I'm using now, uh, a Chromecast. Uh, oops. Oh, oh. oh dear. <laughs> Don't touch. Well, what did that do? Just replace the Wi Fi capacity of the laptop? No. Uh, so you notice I'm, I'm projecting this, uh -huh. my phone, but there's no wire. Oh, I see. I see. That. Yeah. So when you sit with your. Um, your laptop to connect it, there's options now you can do it without a physical yeah. connection. Yeah. Are there any apps for like a Roku? Or yeah, Roku is a great one also. Okay, the Amazon, uh, Fire? Uh, Fire is a great one where actually, oh, I've got disconnected, give me a second, let me it's show Apple you. Apple TV does it too. Huh? Apple TV is... Chromecast. Okay, ah. so let me show you. When you visit the library website, if you go under do research, we have some topic guides. And one topic guide that we have uh, that we just created. is the cord cutter topic guide. Uh -huh. So that has all those resources um, that you talked about. Um, so we have the popular devices, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Chromecast. And don't forget about your smart TVs and smart DVD players. If you have one of those, they would work also. And then popular streaming services, and then some useful links if you're shopping around with these. And uh, we just had this book also. Um, it might be useful. All right. Where were we? 
Okay, the apps, okay. So the last app I wanna show you is printing. So this printing app, um, if your printer at home breaks or if you don't have a printer at home uh, and you wanna print from any device or from a laptop at home, you can use this app, send it to a library near you and go pick it up. So this app I have is set up for the Belvedere Sebron Library, but I can change it. Uh, I think there's a closer library. So you see, these are printers uh, that are near me, and they're basically <coughs> all libraries. Stinson Beach, Luxor, Fairfax. I think those are the Novato ones, maybe. Yeah. There's not one in Santa Fe. Yeah, some libraries are <laughs> slacking a little bit. Um, what is the cost per page? It's different in different libraries. We have the best deal in the county, 10 cents a page, 50 cents for color, seven free to begin with. Okay. Facts are free. But let's say you want to print something from your phone, a picture, uh, anything. You just use the app. You select what you want to print. And you can send it. Well, I can put an email. It's sending to our black and white printer. I can go tomorrow, type my email, and this job will be there waiting for me. Okay. And it's a free print. Mm -hmm. Uh, as long as you use your library card. We'll probably give it, to, sorry? How do you find it with all the other ones? Uh, when you go and log in, it's only your job that's in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you won't see everyone else's print. So it's not printed until you walk in there? It's on a cloud server. Okay. It's not released until you get right. there. It's It'll be ready. Um, so when you go in there, you log in when you're in the library? To the release station. We have a print release station. You get in front of it, type in your email that you sent the print from. And it prints it right there. And then you'll see your print jobs and then release them. Okay. So you can print from anywhere and pick it up at the library. And that, so that you can print from your phone or a tablet either way? Tablet, phone, computer, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Any questions about these apps? Are you going to try them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 3D printing, it's not an app we have now, but that might be a good idea. If you go under Find Services, You'll see a A to Z list of all the things we have. And one of the first thing is a 3D printer. What you can do, if it's a little, little large job you want to print, you can book it. And we'll spend some time with you. You can reserve it, and we can spend some time with you getting your job, your 3D print done. Otherwise, just drop by any time. We'll print a little trinket for you, not a problem. Do you have a scanner that can scan your object and come up with the numbers that the printer needs? We don't. Uh, Marin City has. You're the first person who's ever asked. Well, without that, you, you can't do anything. <laughs> it's such a great idea. I've seen uh, kids have so much fun with it in the library. We, they, they scan themselves. And then they print a bust of their scan. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's good for making little parts, you know. Yeah, if you need them. Absolutely. I don't mean. Uh, how are you scanning with a iPhone scanner? No, oh. uh, it's a device that it uses lasers and, and hits it from all these angles. Oh. 
and then it somehow comes up with a digital representation of that object oh. with all the curves and all the huh. angles and corners. It's a digital scanner. Yeah, yeah it's a digital scanner. scanner. 3D. Oh. And uh, not everybody has one of those. No, you know, they're kind of expensive, <laughs> but but you can also download an app and do it from the iPad. Also, oh. the only thing of scanning from the iPad is you have to do this motion to go around what you're scanning. Oh. There's apps now that oh. you can do it straight from your iPad. Imagine oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> So one thing that you can do is maybe have a servo motor or something where it does that motion mm -hmm. around the object. It's a little bit can you cool. turn the object and let the, the camera stay fixed? That's another good That's idea. That's much easier. It might be easier. <laughs> put it on a laser suit? Yeah, put it on a laser suit. turning. <laughs> exactly. That's a great idea. Okay, smart. My um, microwave has this little thing that turns up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, since we were in the services, one of the things we have mm -hmm. is you can borrow a Roku, take it home and try it, <coughs> and stream. If you like it, you can buy devices such as a Roku. But we have them, so you just try it, just so you can get started and see if it works for you. Same way we have e-readers that you can just borrow and try it. Sometimes what uh, people have never tried an ebook and they don't know if they like it or not, just borrow one from the library and try it. If you like it, you might get one for yourself or not. Um, but we have them available. And these are a great deal. If you always come to the library and your book is checked out, we have the best sellers preloaded on an e-reader. So, small little tip, secret. If you want to get a book that's really hot, we have them on the e-reader. Check those out. And I've told you about make an appointment with us. Uh, that would be great. We'd love to see you at the library. Come and let's talk tech. Let's get you using your phones, tablets, all our resources. Is an e-reader a Kindle or something like that or what? Yeah, it's something like that. We have the Barn, Barnes & Noble uh, e-readers. Okay. But similar to those. Is, uh, yeah. Do you have e-readers? Do you yeah. have any of those? Kindle. 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 Yeah. Digital. I had Kindle. Kindle. Do you borrow from the library to your Kindle? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So we have a video on YouTube how to do it, but you figured it out. You don't need my video. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, leave, it, leave it horizontal. Uh, it's your video. So you go to YouTube and then put the tipper on. Tipper. Yeah. Actually, you can just under go digital, under streaming. We have our YouTube channel there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a quick, easy way to get to it. All right. Um, we don't produce a lot of content, probably not as much as GGCS. Well, but we've only done one. <laughs> oh, okay. This is going to be two. All right, there you go. We're learning together. <laughs> yeah, we're learning <laughs> together. Um, right. I've had problems. Um, I, I like audio books, and uh, there's very few of them available, and they're often busy, so I can't download it right away. Where's another free source for audio books? Yeah. I mean, should I check the San Francisco library or? If you have a San Francisco library card, absolutely use it. Uh -huh. I mean, if you have I mean, any library <laughs> card, use it. <laughs> like well, San Francisco, it's an amazing library. Can't you just sign up for it? You don't have to live there? Uh, you have oh, to live there. Oh, okay. oh. I need an advice. <laughs> You can go visit a friend and yeah. you guys go get a library card together on their address. They'll let you do that. They, my friend let me do that. It's okay. It's just a library card. We don't care. It's You're not defrauding the IRS. It's not that. We don't have police? We don't have library police. <laughs> it's a good one. Questions? Yeah. Uh, if I have a library card that was issued by a county library, can I go 
to the Belgium run, which is independent, and use that site to access the stuff? Yeah, you can use our site, um, but your the access to the di digital resources really depends on where you pay your taxes. So some of these resources are funded by Belvedere to run residents, so only, uh, and some are shared. Most of them are shared, so that's the good thing. Most of it is shared, but some. Well, I, I know that my library card for you will got reassigned based on where I moved. Yeah. So I know there's some limitations there. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know where you, what, I know where you moved, uh, but you my, know where you see your okay. My original library card came from Hill Valley. I renew it in Corte Madera, which is county, uh -huh. but I pay taxes in San Rafael, <coughs> so I'm restricted to San Yeah, Rafael. yeah. You can become really friendly with a librarian and see if they can <laughs> budget a little bit, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah. If one had a San Francisco library card years ago, did they expire? <laughs> they do expire. They just um, they just want to know if you're still in the area. So, yeah, just I would just call them. Like, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> um, they might ask you to come in though, and show a picture ID or something. All right. Any more questions? Yeah. Well, well, if you go to the belltib.org site, will it take the same number and the same password that I use for OverDrive as my sign-in? Yes. So I don't have to create an account? You don't have to create an account. Okay. Same one. It seems to me every time I try to log in, I have to type in like a 17-digit number for my library card. Mm -hmm. Is there another way? Yeah, uh, there is another way. So I'm going to go to my account. Yeah. So it's logging in with my card yeah. number, and it remembers it, which is good. I don't have to type it. Okay. But you can also use a username. Oh, I don't have to use that. I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. We you create a username. And a username. And you do that through the My Account menu. Yeah, right? once you log in, just change it. Okay. Thanks. Actually, I think to log in, it requires you to create a username. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Doesn't always work, though. <laughs> Sometimes it should it's always work. <laughs> Does it re are you allowed to update it? Like if you've forgotten your username, you can. Yeah, it's call us. It's probably the easiest way. Just a, an odd question, but where are your servers located? Do you? They're not in the building, are they? They're somewhere. They else. are in the building. Really? What? What do you got? A little mini computer there? Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a server closet. <laughs> we have phone servers, we have internal LAN server, and then we have uh, servers that go out um, and web services in general. Wow. Yeah, it's quite an operation. It doesn't look like it, but it's a pretty high tech. Yeah, because I would operation. have thought you were hosting with Amazon or some big farm. No, we're not. Some services we do, for instance, this catalog is hosted remotely. Some things like that, some services, yeah. But um, we have quite a. Um, do you scan a closet? Do you scan all this stuff, or do the publishers give it to you already in digital? Yeah, no, it, we don't scan. You couldn't possibly. Yeah. I'm not sure everybody understands whether you, if you don't want to watch the movie from Canopy on your iPad or your tablet, how to project it onto your TV. Yeah, so let's see. Let me log in quickly here. So this one is already showing you one way. I'm going to check out a movie from Canopy, and we're all going to watch it together on this on this projector. Yeah, you need one of those little boxes yes, to talk to the that's group. That's what he needs to yeah. explain. <laughs> um, 
I mean, that's it. <laughs> so you ha just have to decide which box you're going to get. If it's a Chromecast, if it's a Roku, if it's a Apple TV. Uh, in <clears throat> I don't remember the name of the updates. Nope, this is my San Francisco account, but it's okay. Sound comes up because sound sometimes is an issue. So if anything comes up, now you didn't have to push the little tip, the Chromecast icon in the top left hand corner. It, no, because I'm already casting. Okay. Oh, He's controlling it. Okay. <clears throat> the same process, that's how you would do it of any of those devices, Apple TV, Roku. You're basically mirroring the screen. Some people don't realize they have to buy the little boxes. Well, you, you are and you are. Unless aren't. they have a smart TV. It, is there a point at which the Chromecast just gets started and then it takes over? You have to have an app that's Chromecast enabled with the cast icon in the right, right corner? Um, so actually, for instance, um, no, any def like a computer, you open the Chrome browser, the Chrome browser is your cast enabled device. Okay. So if you go on the settings, I'm going to quit this so I can show you. Uh, if you go on the Chrome browser on this uh, menu, one of the options is cast. And when you cast, you can cast a tab or you can cast an entire desktop. Okay. So just open the browser, launch the browser, leave it open, and cast. start casting the entire desktop, and you can start casting from your computer to... But it's not actually casting from the, your phone, because if your phone has something else on it after the casting starts, right? If, if it's an Android, it, it's part of the operating system. If it's an iOS uh, iPhone, then I would say Apple TV works best. But does it have to have, have it be an app that has the cast icon? Sure. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, no, because you can cast the entire screen versus, uh, so Canopy did have that. It needed an icon, a cast icon, but you can also just cast the entire screen. So right now I'm able to cast even things that There's don't have icon, that icon. Well, it's like an icon over up there. Yeah, I had an icon a minute ago. Yeah, so this is from my... This is from my settings. The entire operating system, I can cast anything that's run on this operating system. It might not be true on all devices. But one hack you can do is using the web browser, the Chrome browser. And you're okay. able to cast everything. I would, well, I would disagree with that because I was mm -hmm. trying to use Google Photos uh, on, and that, I guess it was an, an app, and where you see the, the so let's say 20 pictures at, at once, that screen would not show. But when you push on an fo individual photo, that photo would show. Mm. If I go back to the pre previous screen with, with the 20 photos, uh, the, the screen on the, on the TV would just show the, the first photo. Mm. I'm not sure. Like I could not get to that screen. Well, then, I, I was it an Android? Android, Android, modern Android 9.0, mm -hmm. 
but it also had an older crow cast. Maybe that was it. Maybe that was it because even so, right now I'm casting the operating system, and even when I open the app, there's a cast. Yeah, I see signal it. Signal there, so I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm able to do, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, Maybe okay. it's an older. Uh, and if you have iOS, just use Apple TV, it works so much better than casting. Okay. Just, something that appeared by accident as you were going through the streets uh, yeah, reminded me, uh, talk about the availability of the Great uh, great Courses DVDs through the oh, library mm -hmm. subscription. Yeah, so the Great Courses now are available through Canopy. And every time you check something out, you know, I played this DVD, so now my count went from nine, uh, from 10 to nine. So, and that renews every month, it goes back to 10 at the, at the beginning of the month. But so now- you can watch 10 things on Canopy for free, is that it? Yeah. yeah. 10 per month? 10 per month, and this is San Francisco public. I think for us is eight or seven. I thought it was eight. Eight, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, but the great courses, they, those don't count against your. Oh, here they are. So these, these are great. It's a great addition to our collection. You can. So one thing that's great about these that why they don't count against your count is that they have multiple episodes. So if you only have nine checkouts a month, can spend all your checkouts just in this class, mm -hmm. you know, and that's not really that much fun. You might want to watch a couple classes and still have checkouts for some movies for fun, you know. So, so this is a great ad. ad. Egypt, Egypt huh? oh, great. And uh, you can bookmark it, save it, um, come back to it anytime. Are the great courses um, like uh, Scientific American where, or National Geographic where they also have uh, streaming videos? Yeah, these are streaming videos. Um, my experience with great courses in the past was uh, DV, uh, CDs where you listen to the classes. But I find the streaming videos to be really, really great also. And they're very expensive if you have to buy them, each one. Yeah, they are. Well, they advertised that the number of the courses were available for $35 recently. Or you can borrow from the library. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just bring it. So this is actually a good resource. See if you find any some, any anything technical that might help your learning of tech issues also. Any more questions? You ready to try all these apps? Uh, yeah. So I have, a, I have a handout to remind you which apps you should try and come to the library if you hit a snag if you need help with anything. Where are the handouts? Uh, on the table. On the table behind. Um, you bring the Netflix? I hope so. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you very much, Yvonne. Thank you. Hang on. Yeah. On the TV, I want to make